with the Carmelo Anthony Basketball Center, and we're joined by Coach Q. Coach Q, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. So, let's start with last season. Made it to the tournament, and then second round, you see UConn on that piece of paper. What goes through your mind? Great opportunity. Um, whenever, whenever, whenever you can, you, you can play the best, but you relish that opportunity. We always talk about playing the best, whether it's in the first game or the last game. It happened to be in the second game. So we, so we knew that there was a great opportunity for us to beat a very good basketball team. Um, and we fell short, and we had to live with the, live with the consequences of that, and that was going home. But at the end of the day, it was a great, great year for us, and our kids played hard, and we got to the tournament and played a tough team. Speaking of a great year, you had two great players in Alexis Peterson and Brittany Sykes. How are you going to fill the void without them this year? Well, it's going to have to be a collective thing. They average 46 points a game in between the two of them, so we have to have to find some scoring. But I really believe that our perimeter players are very talented. They can score the basketball. They can they can shoot it. So we have a chance to chance to be really good at the guard position. So we're looking forward to that. Now you say it has to be collective, but is there one player that maybe you can pinpoint and say they're going to be a leader this year? Well, it's it really. If you look at Gabby Cooper, she's she's our she's our lone starter coming back. You have Abby Grant, who's been around, and you have some. And then after that, you have a lot of young young players. And I think that we have to really lean on our our group and lean on our chemistry and for them for them to kind of lead as a unit. But obviously, Gabby playing a lot of minutes. Abby being a big man, a veteran, and coming back from that from that Final Four team, championship game team, she she understands what it what it takes to get to that level. So we're gonna lean on Abby a lot just to kind of get us through the season. Right now, you were picked to finish seventh, and Syracuse, since joining the ACC, hasn't finished below sixth. What do you have to say about that? It doesn't matter, you know. It, it, it's, it's funny because we went to the championship game, and I think we was picked like fourth or fifth. So it really, it really matters how, we're, how we play during, during conference play. We have plenty of time to get better and, and to make a, make, a, make a big leap going into conference play. And, you know, they're, they're, they're just that. They're, they're preseason rankings, and we just have to go out and, and play our game and and be a cohesive unit and, and get it done. When you have a team that doesn't have such high expectations, how do you keep the girls' confidence up? Well, it's what they do. It's, it's what they have, you know. Our, our expectation is, is to win every game and win a national championship. So we don't, we don't get into to, to what they rank us and what people are writing. Because at the end of the day, you went to the championship game, they didn't have us getting out of the second round. They had us losing every round going to the championship game. So we don't, we, don't, we don't get caught up into that. We just, get caught, we just get caught up into ourselves and knowing what we have to do to win basketball games. What does a successful season for your team look like this year? We're going to the championship. That's, 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 that's what it is every year. We don't, we, don't, we, don't, we don't go into a season saying, hey, let's, let's, let's win 20 and lose 13. <laughs> you, go into, you go into a season expecting to win every basketball game. And, and we're very, very, very talented. The position's on the floor, so we're very confident. We can go out and win every game on our schedule. Are you worried about any chemistry problems with only one remaining starter, or not, not really? Not, not really, because we, we have we have we have a lot of lot of lot of, a lot of youth, and they're coming in together, and they're learning systems, and they're learning roles, and we're excited. It's, it's really an exciting time. You you're kind of turning over. You know, you lose six players one year, you lose five players, and you're returning players that that are that have, that have played some and that know what it takes to win. So we're excited about that. And you spoke about before how you have kind of three tiers of players. You have the returning veterans, you got the freshmen, and then all the transfers. How do you mix them all together? Well, with the, with the good thing about it is when you have that mix, they all have to play together in practice. And it's been fun watching them, watching them gel together. It's been fun watching them trying to figure it out. And, you know, we're, we're, we're definitely making some mistakes in practice, but that's what it's about. But I think that as we get closer to these games, things are, things are, things are cleaning up pretty, pretty good. So I'm excited about our progress. And finally, we have to end it on your style. I know this is your 10th year in a row wearing this track suit, I believe you said last year. Yeah, I'm, this, 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 this is my media suit. This is my media suit. I, I wear this suit, uh, hopefully, about seven times a year. You know, you wear it now and, and wear it for the six games when you win the NCAA tournament. So, so you know, that's, that's the goal. So, so it hasn't gotten that much wear. I wear it in tournaments, I wear it in media days, so hopefully we can I can wait us about eight times this year, right? It means we won a lot of championships. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.